The Burt Show. Spotlight on Burt. There are situations on this show that have nothing to do with me that really piss me off. Yeah. Burt, Kristen, Davi, and Mo on The Burt Show. There's a certain amount of awkward that goes along when you tell somebody you love them and they don't say, I love you back. That's one segment. There's another segment of awkward where you say, I love you, <clears throat> excuse me, and then you have to take it back, which is where I think we are today with this email. Dear Bird Show, my boyfriend told me he loved me, but then immediately took it back. To lay some fa- uh, foundation to the story, here's some information about us. My last relationship was about six years long. I was engaged for four years of that, but the marriage never went through. My family blames me and my inability to connect with my emotions. I roll. <laughs> I'm a little standoffish with my emotions, but that is because I put so much of my heart into because I put so much of my heart into my last relationship. And he is the reason we never actually got married. My boyfriend's last relationship is basically the exact same situation. When we started dating, I just wanted to be upfront and honest about who I was and how I functioned. So I asked him, what's wrong with you? (laughs) (laughs) That's always a good way to start a conversation right there. (laughs) What's wrong with you? (laughs) He laughed, but said he doesn't like to be around a lot of people and is a loner. And then he asked me, what's wrong with you? (laughs) I told him I have a hard time forming emotional connections with people. And when I do form connections, I have a hard time relaying those emotions. Okay, there's a lot of honesty here in their dysfunctional robotic responses. Yeah, (laughs) at least they communicate. (laughs) Yes. Since then, we have really formed a strong bond. Cool. I've never been with or met a man like him. He's truly amazing in everything I have ever dreamed of finding. One day, after we had been dating a few months, he told me that it takes him years to get to the I love you stage. Whoa. I didn't think much of it at the time because of how reserved I am. But as time went on, I realized that I think I love him. Should I wait or should I just say something? I decided to wait. Fast forward to a few days ago. He told me he was going out with a friend and that when his friend found out I wasn't going, he tried to hook my boyfriend up with another girl. I'm going to read that again because that was confusing. (laughs) He told me he was going out with a friend and that when his friend found out I wasn't going, he tried to hook my boyfriend up with another girl. Hmm. My boyfriend assured me he had no interest in this other girl and honestly, it didn't bother me because he's not the type of guy who dates or flirts around. I'm secure in our relationship, so no big deal. Well, when he came home that night, he was... Tipsy. You hit the nail on the head with that one, Bert, earlier. No, he was downright drunk. He was goofy and in a good mood and started being sweet and cuddly. And then he brought up how his friend tried to hook him up and asked if it made me jealous. I told him no, but it did make me like his friend a little less. (laughs) He started laughing and poking fun at me that I was jealous. He then told me he lied about his friend trying to hook hook him up. He just said that to see that if I would get jealous. What? What are you doing? Oh, man, you have this platform based on, like, awkward honesty, and then you're going to play games like this? Right. Boys do that? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, boys. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. boys. That's the word. You nailed it. I asked him why, and he said, because if you're jealous, it means you care. I jokingly said, well, if if it makes you feel better, I'm jealous of the woman you go to sleep next to every night, which is me. He said, you should be jealous. She's so amazing, and I love her. Oh. Wow. Okay. Er, er, what is, er, this? What no. is this? Er, I mean, like her. I like, like her. Like her. Yeah. I got super nervous and said, that's just the booze talking. We dropped it after that. The next morning, he doesn't remember any of it. Now I am obsessing over the situation. He never drinks, so the behavior was new for him. He did apologize the next day and said he hates getting that drunk. Did he really mean he loved me? Was he drunk talking? I feel like maybe he's scared to move further in our relationship because I told him how hard it is for me to express emotions, or was it an actual slip up of words? Do I take the leap and potentially get a, aw, I love spending time with you too. This relationship is too important to me to mess up. Please help. All right, up until two weeks ago when I blacked out in Nashville, <clears throat> there are very few times uh, that I have gotten so drunk where I don't remember what I said, but I used it as an excuse the next day. So I used the booze. Like, I don't remember any of that, but I kind of did remember it. I kind of did. Yeah. So um, the second thing here is I think if he doesn't have any of these feelings at all, he probably doesn't say it, right? I'm a drunk man's words are a sober man's thoughts. Yeah, it was a slip up. Mm-hmm. And and she even said, I think I'm starting to love him. I think I love him, but I don't say it that quickly. 
say it. He wants to hear it. I can tell you from personal experience being the person that was like, if you're not jealous, you don't care about me. And I literally sent myself flowers from a gentleman caller <laughs> and they got sent to my apartment. And I was like, oh, who is this from? And my boyfriend at the time was like, I don't care. I don't even care. I don't even care that dudes are sending you stuff. And I was like, seriously, I'm sending myself flowers. He still doesn't care. I thought jealousy meant they cared. So that's an insecurity in him. He slipped up, said, I love you. Just tell him you love him back. He wants to hear it. Yeah, I think a lot of times um, with guys, you you can feel it. It's in there somewhere. It's deep. You just don't necessarily want to say it or it may not. you may not know exactly when or how to say it. So if he said it, being drunk, he probably does feel it somewhere in there, and I think she should hang her hat on that. That's a good thing. Like, you know that he feels it inside, and if you say it, great. If you don't, you can be patient. It's going to come, but either way, I think she's good. Been with my husband for 15 years now. One of my favorite moments was um, he didn't say, I love you. He said, I think I'm falling in love with you. That's what Blair said. Is it? Yeah. That's exactly yeah. how he said it. I got it. him tickets to Bob yeah. Dylan and Willie Nelson. <laughs> that's well, good. Yeah, that's yeah. Of course, I pushed of course him over the line. Yeah, that's why he's having that's that's right. I was about to move and pursue my career in radio, and I was moving to North Carolina from Kentucky, and like, like we're in the living room, and I distinctly remember he's like, "I think I'm falling in love with you." And then six months <clears> later, <throat> he moved to be with me. What'd you do? What'd you do when he said it? That I don't remember. You don't? I didn't say I love you back. I okay. know that. Yeah, I know that. I was like Blair said, "I think I'm falling in love with you," and I went. Oh, you did that. Oh, no. Yeah. No. You did the snake? Yeah. That's the worst. That's like, <laughs> did you ooh. literally say to him, boy, you're about to get burned. Whoa. <laughs> no, I just did the Whoa, thing. Yeah, big fella. Well, because it had only been like three weeks or something, so I was like, ooh, Cosmo says this is bad. Oh, my God, yes. Bart, it hadn't even been a month. Yeah. <laughs> three weeks? It had been no. like a month, yeah, because I moved literally a month after we first started dating. I never lived it down. He brings it up all the time. It's hilarious. I'm so glad you brought this up, Kristen. Okay, total sidebar here, right? Right. So I'm on the phone with your husband Bart the other day, and as we're getting off, he, he tells tell me, me that he, he never told me. <laughs> he didn't tell you that you, we were on the phone together. No. Yeah, I just called to check in with okay. you guys. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm getting off the phone with him, and he says, "I love you," and. I was so stunned that I'm not sure that I gave him a confident enough "I love you" back. <laughs> well, would you there. like a redo right now? Yeah. Uh, sure. It's only right. Brag on your man. Did he, did he say? Did he say I love you, man, or did he just flat out say I love you? Um, he does care I, about you. Did he say he was falling <laughs> in love, or did he say he loved you? Which, and I care about I him too. He's like the father I never had. I know it. He's Daddy Bart. <laughs> Daddy Bart. Uh, but I and I do have feelings for him. I I think I'm falling in love with him. <laughs> Please save that, Tommy. <laughs> I, I think I think I do love him. <laughs> I think I do. You needed to sleep on it. Just, just commit. In, in the moment, commit, in the moment, it stunned me. Um, and I think we've said it to each other before, but I think I yeah. forgot. Yes. So I wasn't very confident in my "I love you" back. But will you pass the message on to him today? Yes. Bert just wants you to know that he does indeed love you. Yes. I'm gonna show him this video. It will be my pleasure to pass the love on to my husband oh. from you to him. That's very sweet. And you know what's so, like. Bart only says it if he means it. Like that's he's, oh, I know. He's he's a genuine mofo <laughs> like that. I just you know uh, I just wasn't. It came out of nowhere. I wasn't <laughs> expecting it. He wasn't I, ready. Him I wasn't ready. I do love him though. Please let him know that I'm very strong in my confidence that I do indeed love your husband. <laughs> Bird is ready to commit. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's no thinking. It's definite. I love him. I love him. <laughs> All right. So Davi and her husband are at a crossroads right now. Also, they are having a bit of an argument, disagreement, and they haven't been able to figure it out themselves. So it's time for some couples court next on the Bird Show. The Bird Show goes on forever. <sighs> no, I'm not on a mountain. That's just a vocal of.